In this class, we are going to learn how to test the action chain in Visual Builder application. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle. From the table of content, we have to go to working with JSON action chain. If you are going for the JavaScript action chain, then you can have a look at this as well. Then you have to expand this appropriate section that is testing the action chain here. Oracle has documented in detail step by step what you have to do in order to achieve the use case that is how to test the action chain. Before I go into the hands on and show you how to create the test cases for your action chain, I will tell you how my application is been designed. I have created a simple application over here wherein when I am providing the ID of a country, it will list the details for that particular country. In this case, when I give one, it is showing the name is Italy, code is ID and the ID is one. If I give two, it will show the corresponding details that is United States code is US. So whenever I tab out over here after giving the country ID, what it does is it is making a call to a action chain. That is I have created on change of value in the input text over here to invoke this action chain. So once this action chain gets triggered, what it does is it will make a call to a business object. In this case, it is making a call to this business object with the help of endpoint and it is getting the details and populating over here in these fields. Now let me just go into this action chain. As I have given you the background, it is making a call to the business object with the help of endpoint. Then it is populating a variable with the help of which it is displaying the results in the screen. So this is a dummy JavaScript which I have created. It is having no say, any significant role to play in this implementation. Just it is used for logging purpose. That's it. Now in order to create the test case, what you have to do is if you see over here, there are a couple of tabs. One is a diagram, another is a test. Click on this test. Since this is a new action chain which I have created, I don't have any test cases. Click on this test and you can create n number of test cases over here. Here you can name what type of test it is. You can even name this as a positive case. You might have n number of cases in your project. So first I will tell I am testing this action chain for the country ID 1. Click on save. Next if there is any parameter we can provide it over here. I don't have any parameter to set. Next comes the rest API. I will click on this. It is asking for a dummy request. We can just click on this and get a mock request. Since I have already opened this endpoint, it will open straight away this. Suppose if you click on the mock URL hyperlink in that option, then it will land over here. I am giving the dummy country ID that is 1. Let me just copy everything from here. Go back to my main start action chain and provide the sample over here. Suppose if you click on this make a rest request to get the mock data, it will land over here in the endpoint or you can manually go to the business objects and you can open the appropriate endpoint. Click on save. Now if you don't know how to write the expectations, click on this get suggestions based on the understanding what Oracle uses over here. It will recommend you a few of the suggestions what it, it should be a expectation. If you want you can add all over here else you can just ignore. Suppose if you want to add the recommendations by Oracle, you can just click on this add. If you want to add all the suggestions, then you can just click on add all. It will add the suggestions expectations over here. I will add only one within this. I don't want to add all just I am clicking on hide. I will add one more expectation over here. Click on plus and click on this variable. I will check what is the input country ID passed. I will tell is equal to one. Click on OK as this is a positive test case. So once you have created the test case, you can just click on run. It will run and it will check whether the things have been processed properly. In the expectation, I have told whether the input is country ID is one over here. So it is equal to one. So it has passed the case and also the expected action chain return is undefined. So that's fine. Now I will create one more test case over here. Just click one more and we can create a negative test scenario. Let me just create zero to click on OK. I will provide the country ID as one, but I will copy paste the details for country ID two and request. Let me go to the main start. Here let me paste the result. Click on save. Done. So I will once again go over here, select the we get country dot uh, id here is equal to we will select and here we will check whether it is equal to one done now let me just run this this should basically fail because we are testing this case by passing the country id one but when it made a request over here we had copy pasted the mock response that is from the country's endpoint that is having the response as two that is over here suppose i modify this and make it one and click on save 
in the expectation we want to get one since the mock response I have edited made the id as one this time it should pass click on this run yeah now it got passed so like this we can create the positive and the negative test cases suppose if you are creating a complex action chain in your project and you want developers to not break your action chain during the maintenance phase you can have n number of test cases created so that every time there is a change it will run these test cases and it will show the results so when you load your application any time it will run those cases and show you the results over here suppose if i am just refreshing this page i am not clicking on any run button in the action chain so whenever our application gets loaded what it does is it will directly make a call to this action chain test cases and it will show the results so if you see it has run all the cases suppose if there is any issue or if your developers have broken the action chain then you will get the details so that you can go to that particular action chain and fix the issue